How do you think others would describe you? I think it's difficult to describe the manager without describing the person. So I think they would say that I'm honest, I'm direct, uh, and then I am probably very demanding as well. So what we are looking at, so warm up with some speed. Yeah. We have 20 outfits. 20, the same 20 plays normally. Yeah. So we need to design those drills in the pattern that we have. Can we we play in this industry, respect is not unconditional. Respect only is determined by results. Because on the last four games, they haven't changed the one. No, and they don't have to change the one. People start to blame quickly. And sometimes they see a manager in a way that is not realistic. I suffer. I have feelings. I have kids. I make mistakes. Uh, I cry. I laugh. Um, Inside that person, there is somebody else that is, is dealing with something as well, you know, that is not immune to what is happening. Just spoke with Gary. I don't know if you have communicated with him. Yeah. Mikel lives in North London with his wife, Lorena, and their three children, Danny, Gabby, and Ollie. I think he's going to be willing to try, but I don't think he's going to be um, capable of training. If he's on his own at home, he will be 24-7 <laughs> in the office. I don't like the sequence there. I think it's much better to drop Gabby into the pocket and move the nine into the right central defender. It is hard for him, like even when, I don't know, we are on holidays in the summer at the beach, he sees kids playing, he would get up and start all playing with them or coaching them. OK, Albert. Perfect. All right. OK. OK, see you in the morning. Thank you very much. We've been together for 20 years. So it, it's been like an evolution together. No, it's not something that uh, I stepped on um, without knowing what it was. Dos palitos. Dos? O tres? Yeah? Hey? Yeah. Right? What do you think of Dad's job? It's good. Although sometimes I don't like it because he's like up there for like two hours straight. And he's not with us, but when he's with us, I really enjoy it. Five more minutes. Danny, you want me to score a goal? It, it's on camera, so you have to let it go, OK? I need to look good. So normally it's like this. So I'm here. And from here, I have to try to score against him. This is part of what happened. Normally, he's the barbecue, the glass is there. Ameli. Ready, Danny? You see what I say? How's that for you, hearing people saying not very nice things about him? I take the goods and the bads and the critiques and, and the opinions and everything really as part of his job. But normally, I don't allow all that to get in the house. I normally try to be outside of that bubble. Sometimes I need to drag him out from there and, and make him see, hey, it's just a it's just that bubble. I mean, life is going on uh, outside the bubble. With me, he's quite vulnerable, like he's completely open. And uh, we talk a lot. One minute people are praising him, and the next minute they want him to be sacked or to leave the club. Or to die. <laughs> I mean, they hate you, really. People really feel extremely passionate about what's happening in football. People put their joy on it, or their anger, or their sadness, or their mm, deepest emotions. So yeah, you need to not ride in that train and focus on what you're doing and what you can control and what is in your hands. Otherwise, you, you go crazy, I think.